Do you ever wonder why we survive or breathe? Do you know why we have trees and how important they are? Well, this is all thanks to photosynthesis and cellular respiration. So to start off, there are two kinds of organisms, autotrophs and heterotrophs. Heterotrophs are organisms that eat other organisms. For example, lions are heterotrophs because they eat zebras. On the other hand, autotrophs are organisms that make their own food. This includes plants and trees. Anyway, photosynthesis and cellular respiration are extremely important, and without both processes, we would die. To start off, there is a picture of a leaf right here, and below it is a cell. This cell is called chloroplast. Inside chloroplast, there is a pigment that sucks up sun. As you may know, plants need sun to grow. So the sun is an input for chloroplast. Chloroplast absorbs the sunlight, and the plant goes through a process called photosynthesis, where small openings in the leaf, called stomata, inhale carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen. When the stomata do this, they're going through the process of photosynthesis. They let out oxygen and sugar. And this sugar and oxygen gets sucked up by another cell called mitochondria. Us humans go through cellular respiration, and to be exact, all living organisms go through cellular respiration. Humans complete cellular respiration because we breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide and water. So that's the process of cellular respiration. Most importantly, we create energy when we breathe. This energy lets us get through the day. Energy is also known as ATP. So, you may have noticed that the process of cellular respiration and photosynthesis are linked together because the inputs for cellular respiration are the outputs for photosynthesis and the other way around. Okay, so to be clear, autotrophs are organisms that create their own food by going through photosynthesis. So that means that they complete photosynthesis, but all living organisms go through cellular respiration, so that means they also complete cellular respiration. For humans in heterotrophs, we only create cellular, we only go through cellular respiration. So if you ever wonder how we stay alive, think autotrophs for creating oxygen in the process of photosynthesis.